Hello children, how are you all? I hope you all are good and doing well at home. So children, as you all know that today this is our online English literature class. And children, I hope you all have enjoyed your yesterday's Christmas holiday. And I hope you all have, uh, you all have uh, enjoyed a lot uh, yesterday. And now back to our studies children. So uh, as you all know that we have started last week with our new chapter in English literature. That was lesson number 10, the lion and the mouse. Now children, I also hope that you all have understood the story very easily as it is a very easy story. And now children, uh, yes, uh, before... Uh, before that also I have given you one exercise to complete that was a part which was of word meanings I hope you all have done that in your English literature notebooks now today we are going to do second and third exercise second exercise is of fill in the blanks so I hope you all have completed uh, you all will understand it and then you will complete this work by today itself and uh, make sure children that one important notice is there for you all that till 9th of January I will complete all the syllabus of each and every subject. So make sure that you uh, watch and listen to each and every video very carefully and understand each and every topic very very carefully. Is that okay children? Now coming back to our exercise today's exercise that is b part so as you all know when we start with a new exercise we started from a new page so children uh, uh, you just uh, take out your new page in your english literature notebook and write down today's date that is 26 12 2020 and give the heading on top in the top of uh, in the top line that is lesson number 10 the lion and the mouse now coming to the next line uh, give the heading subheading that is B part fill in the blanks now the first fill in the blank is children the mouse is dash now what happened to the mouse when he heard growling uh, when he heard the lion growling the mouse was frightened so here the mm, story is in present tense so we will write the mouse is frightened f-r-i-g-h-t-e-n-e-d frightened is that clear now coming to the second sentence a large lion is fast dash under a tree. Large lion, jo tha wo tree ke niche kya kar raha tha? So ra tha. So that means asleep. We will uh, use the word asleep in the blank. So a large lion is fast asleep under a tree. Now coming to the third sentence, a tiny mouse dash on the sleeping lion. Ab ek chota sa mouse tha jab. Uh, Lion so ratha tree ke niche to chota sa mouse ne kya kiya tha sleeping lion ke upar jump kiya tha. So a tiny mouse jumps on the sleeping lion. Is that clear? Now coming to the fourth sentence that is some hunters came to the forest in the morning. Subha subha morning mein uh, forest mein kaun aata tha? Hunters. Okay. Uh, so the spelling of hunters is h-u-n-t-e-r-s hunters so your sentence will be some hunters came to the forest in the morning so there are only four sentences in fill in the blanks children i hope you have understood it very clearly once again i'm repeating all the four sentences with its uh, with their answers with spellings so please concentrate on the video and watch it very carefully first sentence the mouse is dash that is frightened f-r-i-g-h-t-e-n-e-d frightened second sentence a large lion is fast dash under a tree large lion is fast asleep a-s-l-e-e-p asleep then the third sentence a tiny mouse dash on the sleeping lion that is jumps j-u-m-p-s jumps uh, last fourth sentence some hunters came to the forest in the morning in the blank we will write hunters answer is hunters and the spelling is h-u-n-t-e-r-s hunters so children i hope you all have understood all the fill in the blanks for fill in the blanks they are very easy so please make sure that you complete it in your notebooks and now coming to our third exercise that is who said the following so be ready for it okay now children coming to our third exercise that is C part. Again you have to take out your new page in your English literature notebook. And then again you have to write down today's date and part number C. 
who said the following okay it is not necessary to write the lesson number and lesson name on every page you can write the uh, subheading that what exercise you are going to do is that clear now in this i will give you some sentences there are four sentences and you have to read those sentences and then you have to make out that who said this sentence okay so coming to the first sentence oh mr lion i did not mean to wake you up मिस्टर लाइन आई डिड नॉट मीन टू वेक यू आप ये किसने बोला था कि मैं आपको जगाना नहीं चाहता था दिस वॉज सेट बाय द माउस एम ओ यू एस ई माउस ये किसने बोला था लिटल माउस ने ओके नाउ कमिंग टू सेकेंड सेंटेंस वेल आई लेट यू गो दिस टाइम बट डोंट मेक दिस मिस्टेक अगेन मैं आज आप तुम्हें जाने देता हूं लेकिन अगली बार ये मिस्टेक नहीं होनी चाहिए दोबारा सो हु सेट दिस सेंटेंस द लायन एल आई ओ एन लायन इज दट क्लियर नाउ कमिंग टू द थर्ड सेंटेंस हा 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 यू सिली लिटिल माउस व्हाट कैन यू डू ये किसने बोला था कि तुम तो छोटे से चूहे हो सिली माउस तुम क्या कर सकते हो सो दिस वॉज सेट बाय द लाइन एल आई ओ एन लाइन Now coming to the last fourth sentence, I am so glad we could help. I am so glad we could help you. So this was said by the mouse. कि हम लोगों को बहुत खुशी हुई, हम लोग बहुत glad हैं that हमने आपकी help करी. So this was said by the mouse. M O U S E mouse. I hope you all have understood all these four sentences. And uh, once again, I am repeating these sentences. Listen to it carefully. Those who have missed any part of this uh, exercise, you can again listen to it. Okay. First sentence: Oh, Mr. Lion, I did not mean to wake you up. This was said by the mouse. Now coming to the second sentence: Well, I'll let you go this time, but don't make this mistake again. This was said by the lion. Coming to the third one. Ha ha ha! You silly little mouse! What can you do? This was said by the lion. And in the last fourth sentence, I am so glad we could help you. This was said by the mouse. So that is all for uh, today, children. With this video, I will be giving you an assignment, and in that assignment, I will type all the two, uh, both the two exercises. That is the B exercise, fill in the blanks, and the C exercise. who said the following and you can write from that assignment in your english literature notebooks and children please make sure now you will start all the work and you will complete all the work daily which i will be giving you so that it will be very easy for you all to learn because we have to complete our course till 9th of january is that clear so children please make sure that you complete all the um, subjects on time and get your copies also corrected and for copies correction you can come to school from 10 am to 1 pm from monday to saturday is that clear so till my next video children make sure that you complete all your work and in my next video we will do the other two exercises of this same chapter in those exercises we will complete our question answers and the last make sentences is that clear so please make sure that you complete all your work by today itself and then we will start with new exercises tomorrow till my next video tomorrow children bye bye take care stay at home and please be safe